Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor down here at this beautiful boat. Man, fire engine red. He's going to love this. <clears throat> anyway, customized uh, North River made by Tough. Channel aluminum. You got your galvanized steel for your reach, which is good. Swing tongue. Uh, that's locked up in there. Brake fluid was full. You got this kind of nice, kind of powder coated that so that sucker doesn't look terrible after a while from rubbing back and forth because when this moves back and forth that ignites your brakes. Two inch ball flat flip, I like that. Round seven. You got your foot jack, I like that, spare tire. And that trailer's gonna be a dandy. Oh, you even got like little semi V blocks up front. Dual wipers, window stop, dual. That's nice too. A lot of them only put one. So this way you got support from the top and bottom. Uh, anchor guard up here. You got triple uh, drainage up front, shallow deck. Uh, Simrad uh, halo. I don't know if that's a halo plus or just a halo. So we'll see if it has dual range. Uh, it normally has to be the halo 20 plus to get the dual range. But that's okay, Haler horn. We're having some issues, I gotta have them look at that. I haven't taken this boat out yet. I'm gonna have them fix some stuff before I do. Cause it's nice to have everything working when I go out for the on water demo fastback. Like I say, she's red. Uh, you got shine guys bolted on, tandem. Those are stout, they ain't gonna go nowhere. Teflon, that rides right on top of the shine. You got mags, you got disc. Ooh, look at them fancy things. Ah, they almost look like Brimbos. Got disc on 04. Downrigger pads welded. Straight down tie downs is nice. Trim tabs. You got a T99 high thrust. You got the space between here. That's for back pressure for backing up. 11 by 7 prop. You got the large kicker bracket. So if a guy ever wanted to do the T25, he could. <clears throat> That's the gas vent. I put in, I think, about... 40 gallons, if I remember right. Now he's got this uh, ooh, mean looking v, V6 250 V Max. Ooh, show motor. This is going to go 15 by 15. Yamaha Salt Water Series 2. That's the way to go on a V6. Uh, you got the little delta in the back. You got back here. You got that extension out and back that keeps that spray coming back into your prop. Uh, total salt water protected, stainless prop, drive shaft, prop shaft. You got internal zincs, external zincs. Here's your P tube here. Right here's your flush, fresh water flush. Only do that when the motor's warm, when you touch this and it's warm. And you got warm water coming out of here. These do take a while when you put them on the hose to start pumping. It's not like that 99 that pumps it just immediately. This that takes about 30 seconds. Uh, this got the bullet right down here, plus this. So if you don't have the bullet flusher and the main flusher, you need to use both. If not, tape that off and then put your earmuffs, put water to it full force, then start it. When you're shutting her off, make sure you turn the motor off, then turn the water off. Inspection cap to get to the build pumps and also to bolt the motor on. You got your hydraulic steer, nice clean job here. Handrail 2023. And then this pulls out here, drops down. We'll walk over here. He's got the good antenna. He must have watched some of my videos. A spot go, a nice little stanchion they built there. I think Matt Matt did that. Maybe not Matt, can't remember his name. Too early in the morning. And then your door. You open that up there. There's your wedge. Then this ski pylon goes back here. I uh, didn't see that in the boat, but that's an option, I believe. This here's your uh, live well. Don't oh, screw unscrew that too much. Just a warning. You can get it back in, but be very careful. If it doesn't go in really easy, don't force it because you will strip it. And then you've got your live well. And I didn't see the wash down hose in here either. And uh, then there are other switches for your wash down. Over here, these are, these are primer bulbs. Prime that up. There's your wash down pump. Right here's your breakers. And your rather battery. Get down into here. 
way back in there there's a valve you want to kind of keep that closed if you open it it'll fill up full of water if you want to get the water out open the valve and do a circle i think to the left or to the left and then when you're doing that circle that water goes and lifts up that hole where it drains so actually you want to go to the right my mistake and it gets it out of there faster or just keep if you got a long way to run just go ahead and open it up and run and then when it empties close that valve here's your fish box <clears throat> big and if you want you could put a plug in there too it wouldn't matter this inspection cap to get to your fuel tank speakers now those weren't coming on the other day so i don't know if you've got them hooked up to the vhfs or what the deal is then he's got your fuel tank here got a backdrop and again i'm gonna send this back in the steering seemed like it was okay as far as the linkage lock to lock boom boom so i don't see the pole i don't see the wash down hose there's your remote for your spot go you got your simrad evo 3 you got your other simrad rs40 i believe 40. this does have foghorn and pa capability uh that's this button here you just got to push down on it but it is not there's nothing coming through that horn <clears throat> and word to our riggers when they're hooking up a multi-scan transducer like a total scan or a actor three in one you always got to get this sonar wire into sonar hub two not one or you won't be able to get side scan or down scan but i got it working i swapped it then you got to turn it off and turn it back on again 6y8 gauge put 40 gallons in spot go light right there uh, your auxiliary switch the one far over there is for your rear deck light you got your dome lights let's see oh i got the battery off dome light interior lights i'll show you all that on the water anchor nav wipers work bilge worked horn worked auxiliaries for that backlight i don't know really what this auxiliary is for or this i tried it because you're not getting radar either so i'd be checking that uh, the power cable because it says not no uh, data and you can get the navionic plus card for this uh, which then enhances your contour and bathmatics and stuff on your fish finder and maps. Uh, your trolling motor, your main motor. Uh, you got storage, which is lockable. Glove box. A real nice boat. I mean, really nice. And then he's even got a light up front. So that's why I wonder if he ain't using it for, like, search and rescue or something. Because up here, he's got his LED police light, I call it. That's a deck horn. We're gonna have to look at that to see if that's gonna work. And BG Lorenz. And I don't know if that's so we're gonna see if that's a dual range or not. I don't think so, but we'll find out. When I get up under when they hook it up, of course. Okay. Getting down. This is a real sweet boat. And like I say, I'll show you all the electronics and all that good stuff when I get on the water. Hopefully today, this motor should push this thing. It's 23. The first 23 I've taken out. Look at the deck area. Plus six people. Awesome. I've taken 21, 22s. I don't think I've ever taken in 23. I'd say that should push a dang near 50 miles an hour. Okay, boat doctor out. <laughs>